Do you need a good home gym rack? Today I'm going to give my thoughts on this wall mounted rogue rack after using it the last four and a half years. Back in early 2019 I was looking for a weight rack option for my home gym. I needed something really where I could do presses, pull ups, squats and many other exercises. I wanted it to take up as little space as possible but at the same time be very functional for me. I looked at other options like PRX, but unfortunately my home gym has lower ceilings than I would prefer. After researching a few options, I went with the Rogue Monster Lite 3WC Foldback Wall Mount Rack. That's a mouthful, but it is the exact model I bought. I purchased the 21 and a half inch arms version of this rack with the bright blue color. There is an option for 41 and a half inch arms if you need more room. Everything else came with it, the J holds for the bar, barbell, a pull-up bar, and safety pins for the forearms and the pull-up bar. Right now I see the price is still at around 700 bucks, so it's like 705 on roguefitness.com for just the base model of this rack. Make sure you have tools to drive the bolts into the studs on your wall. I would definitely recommend having two people install it, it just helps because it's fairly heavy. Let's talk now about how to open and close the rack along with its actual performance. To open the rack, just pull it open. You may have to lift it a little from the bottom if you have floor mats like me. It's not difficult, but you can kind of lift it up a little bit if needed. Also, the arms can open all the way out. This may be ideal for someone, but it really, in my opinion, defeats the purpose of being a space saver, but really it's a personal preference. Once you have the arms open, place the orange handle pins in each of the arms. Always start with the bottom and then do the top ones. This secures it in place. After that, you can add the J holds for the barbell and the pull up bar. There's two red handle pins that secure it at the front and back for the pull up bar. If you need to close the rack, basically it's the same process. Almost always leave mine open, but there are times where I need more room in my home gym, so it shows great versatility giving you this option. How does this rack actually perform after four and a half years of using it? I will say I've been very satisfied with its performance. It feels sturdy, dependable, and it works as good today as it did day one. I haven't experienced any limitations with my workouts simply because of the rack. Maybe I could have used the 41 and a half inch arms in some scenarios, but honestly, what I currently have fits my home gym best. I have used the rack for almost everything. Anything from TRX to bands to barbell bench, squats, presses, pull-ups, and so on. I have a couple of accessories, but I'm going to do a separate video to discuss more on these. The rack looks almost new except for some scratches simply from the J holds and most of the scratches actually came from a safety accessory. It doesn't bother me because you're going to be rough with a weight rack. There's really no other option. I don't really have anything negative to say because the rack works and it's pretty versatile with the amount of accessories you can actually add to it. Look for one of my only gripes I have on the rack during the accessory video that will drop in the next couple weeks. This rogue rack has performed outstanding and really helped transform my home gym. If you're in the market for a home gym rack in your garage, this is a great option. It's well made and I have absolutely no regrets buying it. It comes highly recommended for me if you're in the market for one of these. Thanks for watching this entire video. Here's a few more pictures to finish it off. If you enjoy my content, drop a like or subscribe to the channel to help it out. Leave a comment if you have any questions on this rogue rack or if you would like to see a specific fitness or tech topic in one of my future videos. Enjoy your day. I'll talk to you soon.